Oh my god, I hate my microphone. Hey everybody, X and Execution Godmu here, and welcome back to the wonderful world of Minecraft. Now, I hate my microphone. Seriously hate my microphone. I recorded a 35 minute episode for you guys, which took me about two and a half hours to record. Only to find out that the audio of my microphone was not there. It was just static the whole way through. You, c nothing. You, I said you could be, you could hear. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go through everything that happened last episode for you now. And unfortunately, you have missed it, which is really unfortunate because it was also a really good episode. I actually got a fair bit done, but I'll quickly go through it as much as I can. Um, I come down here. I got a few more diamonds. Um, I don't think I got much else here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Lots and lots of cobble. I can't. Remember. I think. Yeah, I know what I was doing. Uh, that's full. That's getting some more stuff in. Um, we did enchant our diamond pick, and unfortunately, with level 30, and unfortunately, we got majorly screwed over. I'm breaking three. That's possibly the worst level 30 enchantment you can get. But hey, it's there. We've got it. Um, I had to get a new helmet because it broke. Yeah, these are going to break pretty soon. I enchanted a bow with level 1 just just because I can. Um, you'll also notice I'm using a texture pack. This is a defined texture pack. Um, I really like this texture pack. I've said texture pack so many times. Um, I, really do in I really do like this texture pack so I will be using it from now on. It's just like the normal one, just slightly more high def. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Next up I will just let me quickly make these because I'll forget. Um, most most noticeable thing, the nether portal. Um, obviously, we got our pick, so I got the um, obsidian we needed and made the nether portal. Um, this will probably move because I will show you in a minute, but it actually put us in a really weird, a really annoying area in the nether. Um, nothing happened with this, uh, nothing happened in here apart from I went on a cow killing spree and now we have the bookshelves required to get a level 30 so that's awesome and then the bit that took me most of the episode last time let me just make sure I'm actually on normal yep okay <laughs> I don't want to not be on normal the thing that took me the most time last time is I actually went down and actually made a made the lowest level of the slime farm so if we go all the way down here, I actually decided to finish it off. And next to it is actually a ravine. I hear a slime. Next to it is actually a ravine. Um, which I actually got uh, f four or five more diamonds in. So, and it's actually working a lot better down here, which is behind that cobblestone wall. So, I will definitely be going caving down there at some point. Definitely seeing what else I can get. Uh, but, uh, we are going to sort this out eventually so it's more automated, but obviously just for now we want the slime balls for pistons and stuff. So, yeah. It's not too bad. Unfortunately, I just haven't sorted out the ladders for this yet. But it's still here. Unfor as far as I can tell, that's basically it. I'll show you the nether um, and where it spawned us and such. Uh, these levels will probably be used for something else because, yes, it's in a slime chunk, but it's a very slow rates here. So, just to be on the safe side, I won't um, use it for a slime farm. Obviously, that lava pool is still there, which we're probably going to get rid of. So, yeah, unfortunately, this is just all updates at the moment. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why that tree is actually missing logs at the top. This I still need to finish. I still need to go and get the sandstone to finish it. Um, the obsidian generator, I've used it a couple times. Um, it still works. It works perfectly. I'm extremely happy with it. Uh, where did I put it? I think I put it in here. Yeah, i still got two pieces there. Obviously, we can make as much as we want as long as we have redstone. So, that is all good. Now, I'm currently um, preparing to go to the nether to um, make a nether hub. So I think that'll be today's episode. Um, so we're gonna, I'm going to show you the other side of the portal just quickly. Oh, Zombie farm generating some lag. So yeah, this is when we get to the other side, this is where it spawned us. In a nether cave. Don't know what's going on with my FPS. It's being really weird. 
in this nether cave, which is so annoying because it took me forever to find out where the exit is. And to be honest, I can't really remember. Um, I think if I looked at this, we're actually... Oh no, here we go. Yeah, this is it. Let me put some torches or something. We're going to make a nether hub around this nether portal. But basically I needed a, a way to get to the you know, the surface. So if we follow this down... I think it's not that one. I think it's down here. Oh yeah, there's a. I put another another brick there. Come all the way down here. Obviously, this we've got all those right uh, minecart tracks. So eventually, I will pillar directly there. So yep, here. Come all the way up here, and I actually mined straight into this Nether fortress, which is awesome. So, you know, Nether fortress straight away. We can get the Nether rack we need. Nether brick, sorry. So yeah, straight up here. There's a blaze spawner already. It's awesome. So there will be another hub around the Nether portal. I don't actually think I've been up here. I do want to grab me some soul sand and Nether uh, wart. So because it now grows in the Overworld. If you know what the Overworld is, it's the normal Minecraft world that now grows there instead of only being in the Nether. So I definitely want to get that going, or at least get that in a chest. So when we start a potion room, um, it's growing there instead of us having to come back here to get some more. Oh, why are you being all jumpy? Oh, glowstone. We might grab that. Do we actually need some glowstone? Obviously, it would be nice if we had silk touch, but we got stuck with unbreaking. So, yeah, the down here is dead end. So, yeah, I'm going to get back to the nether portal, and we will start building a little primitive place for now, and then we'll come up here to well, we'll come around here. How is that ghast seeing me? Yeah, stop freezing. Damn thing. So obviously it goes along there. It's still there as well. We'll all. I will look at it properly eventually. Get this. Oh, this blaze is spawning. Keep running. So, yeah. So this is it so far. I will head back to the nether portal and I'll see you there to build the hub. Alright, so we're here. Now, the first thing I'm going to need to probably going to have to do is grab some of this nether brick, nether rack here. So we, um, so I can make a proper base for the hub. It's going to get annoying. And then we can build on top of it. Now what I've got is actually some cobblestone to make the like uh, roof and the walls and stuff. And um, got some wood and some saplings. I actually meant to bring some bone meal as well, but we can always go back for that. Um, just so we can actually get a reasonable base type thing going on here. Because obviously the quicker we can do that, the better the nether will be for us. So, as long as we remember that down here is the actual place we need to... Is the actual remainder. Uh, I'm not for being very good with words at the moment. It's actually the place we need to go to get to the nether fortress and the actual outside of the nether itself. So, let's actually fill this in. Um, get a, some form of staircase going here. We can block all this in. Actually, open this up. Try and make it look reasonably neat. There we go. Right. That actually looks wrong. Should actually be a line like that. That looks better. There we go. So, you guys, let me just finish off this floor and. I will be back with you. Alright guys, so this is it so far. I have um, flattened it out. I have, you know, made a, made a little room out of it. So I will block off, oh, this will be a wall here with like a door or something. So we can go down here if we ever need to. I might have a, like a, a nether wart farm or something like, just, you know, something down there would be nice. 
Um, this up here, I don't know, this was just naturally here. I don't know what I'll do with it. I might just put chests there, to be honest, like a little storage room. Obviously, this is our main portal here, which we can dress up. Back here, I might dig out the cave to put the trees in, and down here will probably just be blocked off as well. Just so we have a nice little area. We've got a nice little work area if we need to put anything here. So, yeah, basically, this is it so far. So what I'm going to do, I'll see this is going down to the actual place which we'll neaten up properly properly when we bring down the mine track, minecart tracks and such. So what I'm thinking is along here, obviously for now it doesn't need to look pretty or anything like that. I did bring some glass because obviously having a nice look out and it will make the house look better. Um, let me just fill this in. It's gonna be won't look too nice otherwise. And then I'll have probably some stairs or something there. So yeah, we'll just knock out these two of these. Get rid of that. Put that in there. Just for aesthetics, like that. Um, we do have a crafting table, so we'll probably plonk that down here. Let's actually just grab. Let's grab four furnaces. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Just so we can have. Damn it. A little furnace wall here. You know, we're, get, we're getting a place going. It's uh, gonna look a uh, good. So we'll get these here. Just so I know we are secure and protected. I mean, obviously, ghast proofing is fairly important, but obviously, because of how low we are, I'm not like seriously worried about it. You know, it's just nice to have a little place you know that when, definitely when you get here, you are going to be safe no matter what. It's a nice to have that feeling. Yeah, uh, yeah, like uh, the texture pack enables it so that the um, glass doesn't look like it's separate blocks. So obviously here it is just one pane, which is, I really like personally. So let me just grab over here and make two doors, like a so, and we can plonk them here. And then I'll probably use the rest of this cobble to make some stairs for this place because we would like it to be free flowing as much as possible. Let me put a tor torches out here. So yeah, now we're nice and protected. I mean, I'll probably put a door there as well when I neaten that archway up. Oh, okay. We missed that. There we go. So yeah, this is nice. I'm liking this so far. Obviously, eventually the whole thing will be changed. This was literally just a draft for the time being. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let me make some chests. Let's turn all this. Oops. Damn it. There we go. Getting a little bit of button happy there. Right. Actually, I'll probably take two stacks of that home. This is all specifically for here, though. So that can stay here for now. Let me just light this area up. So, yeah, this is going to be the nether hub for now. Uh, buh, buh, buh. I will probably at some point come back and get the... Get some... I'll think of it in a minute. I'll probably I'll be back in a minute to get some nether wart. Or on the hunt for nether wart. We'll go look around properly the nether. But for now, back to the overworld. I left my door open. <sighs> so we can prepare up again to leave again. So, wow, I got a lot of this before, didn't I? Sorry, I, I actually forgot I had this chest. So yeah, I had a lot of nether rack anyway. Cool. So I'm probably going to take some of this stuff with me as well. 
but with that blaze farm, we shouldn't need coal there ever again. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when I go back. Alright, so we're back in the nether. And what I actually want to do... What did I bring? Yeah, okay, I bought the rails. So, basically... It'll be sort of like here will be the train port or whatever to the thing. So, if I will take down... Give me a moment, guys. I've just tabbed out. I am literally just going to write down the coordinates for this. 117, uh, 70, and negative 42. Alright, so now we'll go to the other end. And we'll mine back, but we'll try and do it, you know, evenly and so it is smooth. Okay. Uh, no, we're going all the way, aren't we? Yeah, we're not going to skimp on this. And we'll try not use these this tunnel if we can. So obviously, if we can get it to go to... Sort of here-ish. Or should we say over here? Oh, there's another blaze spawner. Did not know that. I don't need blocks to block it off. Oh well. Oh, let's have a quick look see over here, shall we? Anything good? Obviously, sorry for the frame jumps. It's because it's obviously loading for the first time and recording. Maybe it's just jumping for me, but... So, is there literally nothing over here? It's still loading in. Fair enough then, it's just... At least it would be easy reach to get that when we need it. Anyway... Oh, that blaze spawner is actually visible as well. So yeah, if we can get it to... sort of... We can get it to come out here. So we're going from here to 117. So we need to actually go up 12 blocks. I believe it's this way. We need to go this way out. So we need to sort of. Oh my. God damn it! I'm gonna die. I don't want to die. Oh dear. And there's Blaze there. Ah! God, that's a pain. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Okay, so we need to sort of go in this direction. I will start to go okay if we start going this way first so negative 42 Make it as right angle as we possibly can, I guess. La -de -dee. What I'll do is I'll show you me digging from one point to the other. And then I'll come back and make it wider and how I want it to look. And then we'll start laying the tracks down. So I'll show you so for you to there we go, right, okay, so we need to go that way, but we need to go up 12 blocks. So, let me go this way one. I'm going to make it three, I'm going to make the whole the whole way three by three, so. We've got to go to, oh, didn't want to do that. 
What are we going to? 70. 63. Sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine. I'm going by um, feet position, by the way, guys. Not head position. Oh, okay. So this is seventy, right here. And then we're going to a hundred and seventeen. So quite a way to go. But this should take us to roughly the point I we want the track to lead us. And then once we've got this all nice, we will then work on the little, uh, you know, gateway hub thing down there where the minecart will end up. Because obviously that place can be infested with mobs. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, guys. So what I might do, this is going to be, th uh, blah, blah, blah. I would like the entrance to sort of be here-ish. So you can walk in and then there's this. This little walkway down here I'm seriously not bothered by anymore because, you know, we have an actual way to get there now. So one more this way. So you walk in and you're in this little 3x3 three three area. The track will be in the middle and it will go that way to... Obviously 3x3 three three the whole way. and it will go that way to the actual place we want to go so this should be where the track is yep so then we don't mess up the wall here or anything so we can let me just put those back so yeah guys i'm going to i'm going to hollow this out and i'll see you when it's ready to put the track down Alright guys, welcome back. So yeah, I've just cleared all this out. I got an absolute ton. Absolute ton of netherrack. So the tunnel is all now clear. We now have, you know, the room to place the rail. We should have enough. I mean, we have a lot. So what I'm going to go do is, I've just looked up the recipe to get, to make the powered rails, because obviously we're going to need some. So we need a lot of gold. So I'm just going to get that smelting for now. So um, let me just uh, dump all of my excess in here. Not my sword. All of this in here. And that. And we are going to place some rails. Just for now. And then obviously we'll go along and sort out the rest. That is blocked off, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's quickly do this, shall we? Um, there will be a block there when I get to it. Uh, this might be fun for you guys to know. This is actually my first legit Minecraft uh, minecart creation in Minecraft. Most of my uh, minecart ones are done in creative. So, this is definitely a first for me. Ah, damn it. I was afraid this might happen. Um... Because of the way this is, do, 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 let me think. Um, it's going to have to be a bit weird, unless I can figure it out. Because you can do that, and it will drop. But then you can't go back again. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to go around like this, and then keep going straight. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Come on, please have enough rail. I don't have to go make any more. Yes, beautiful. Right, that won't, that can't be there because there'll be a block there. And with rail to spare. So obviously we have the... There's a blaze far, uh, spawner just there and there's one there as well. So this is quite a good place to have it set up. So, we will give this a go. But first, we definitely we need to go and get some powered rails. Now, we're definitely going to need some on here for when coming back. Um, I brought 20 levers with me, so we can power them easily without wasting um, any redstone. Uh, we got some here. Okay. We need sticks. Give me that. 
So yeah, I've never actually made these before, like legitimate. So this should be good. Let me just check the web page so I'm doing it right. Yep. So with this we can make two. I mean 12, I'm sorry. There we go. So let's put these in. Now I'm this one will be and then hmm how am I going to power this actually might actually have to do it with redstone torches because I want it to look neat obviously so let me just quickly grab some torches oh I have the sticks with me don't I okay Probably actually going to need more than that. Let's just make eight for now. Okay, let's power that. Oh, okay. Don't know why. Oh, because I put it there, didn't I? Ah, oh, I need a, f a free piece of netherrack. I'll do. OCD, people. OCD. I have lots. Okay. So that will go for a bit. Should we try here? We have 12, so I didn't mean to knock that off. And I have to find that ghast though, because it has been driving me insane the whole time I've been down here. There we go. Okay, so hopefully that will be good enough. And then we'll do one just before this. Now, obviously, I'm aware that... Oh, I'm stuck on a block again. Damn, 1.3.2. So buggy. Okay, so I know I'm going to need someone here. Yes, let's power it. Good. I know I'm going to need a fair few on here, so... Let's take that one out as well. Uh, why do I want to put a torch? Down, down, bam. Hopefully this will be enough. And then probably this one. As well. And then one here. Good, we actually possibly made enough torches. Now I hope this will all work. And both ways. Obviously, it'll be a pain if it doesn't work both ways. Ah, oh, crap, actually. Where have we got the one before that? Hmm, I might have to actually go... might have to make one more torch. Because I would want another one... Sort of here. Like there. And then one, obviously, up here so we can start it so I will work on a release mechanism eventually just you know not now actually no I might do it now I'm a little bit short on time for this episode so we'll, we'll make sure this actually works because I, 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 as I said, I've worked so hard on getting the other episodes done that didn't actually get to be released. Um, obviously, this is episode 22 for you guys, so hopefully you're, you're enjoying the content so far. So we need to come back here. Let me put this slot in here. Oh, no. That can go in, that can go in, that can go in, that can go in. But I need that. Let's make us a minecart. I don't need to go that high. <laughs> minecart. Yeah, now we have a... Come on, please work. Yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's going to work this way, which is obviously awesome. But now will it work the other way? Hopefully. This is this hill that I'm worried about. Oh, yeah, it just worked. Okay. 
It's better than nothing for now. At least we can come to the nether. And get going straight to where we need to. Sh nice and easy. Um, that might as well stay smelting. Did I only have two pieces left? Oh yeah, it's on the third. No, that's right. So yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Obviously, it's been very nethery. Um, I'm not sure how long the video is going to have been. Because I can't check while I'm recording, but... Next episode will probably be in the nether again, trying to get that nether wart so we can get it grown here. And it will probably be, um, get our potion station, or get a potion station going. Or it could be absolutely anything. It depends what I come into this world feel like I feel like I want to build. It could be absolutely anything. I might even just want to go caving and let you guys watch. I honestly don't know. But I hope you enjoy them anyway. Why don't we finish off the episode by killing some zombies? Because obviously we want... It would be good if we can get some like damage potions or fire potions or something for here. I need a way of directing these properly so we don't lose drops or anything like that. And so on and so forth. So yeah, guys, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in episode 23. See you later, guys.